All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, looking a little bit different right now. <laughs> we might have some waders on uh, and a hoodie, which you guys, this will be the first time you guys see me in a hoodie all year. Uh, yeah, it got cold out. And, um, well, needless to say, I've been uh, debating on coming here again because I wasn't sure if you guys like these videos. You guys really have to hit that thumbs up if you like a video, uh, especially if there's thousands of you watching it. It's it's weird. I'm, I'm getting like 100 likes, which I, I think is good. It means 100 of you guys are enjoying my stuff, but I'm getting thousands of you subscribing, which is very, very much appreciated. Um, but you guys got to hit that uh, like button. It helps the channel out and it shows me <laughs> that you guys want to see more of these videos. Um, I do a variety of videos, so there's probably something for everybody on my channel. But uh, today I'm back at a spillway because uh, it rained and I wanted to fish it because the water was going to come up. Hence why I have big thermal waders on. The water seems like it's cooled down a lot. Uh, one thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to fish some live bait today and dead bait. Uh, probably, well, not probably. I'm going to start off with I have a bobber rod set up so that I can go catch some bait, uh, bluegills, chubs, anything that I can get out of the river. Um, and I'm gonna try and for, it's cold, so I don't know. I'm gonna try and for some catfish, but I'm probably gonna end up with some northern pike because it's got cold. Uh, but my fingers are crossed that I get a really big catfish today because the water's up. Uh, usually if the water's up, the fish have moved in and uh, we should be good to go. So let's get going. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to take uh, some worms, a little jig head, and a slip bobber. I'm going to go fish up below the dam here on the side uh, where the bluegills kind of pile up. And I'm going to try and catch a couple of them for cut bait, and then I'll probably fish some live ones underneath the bobber. There might be some giant northern pike under here, so I'm not guaranteeing what we're catching today, but I'm going for catfish and uh, other big fish that eat cut bait. And then uh, I might stay a little bit later today if it doesn't rain, it's supposed to. Um, and I, I kind of want to carp fish down the river here because there's some really big carp over here. So stay tuned, let's get some giant fish first. Okay, I had to move over here because I couldn't find any fish anywhere else. So here's to catching some bluegill over here. Take those guys all day long. This could turn into a northern pike day real quick if I get a bunch of these. That was a creek chub, by the way. This might just become a bait video. I have some places these guys would work really good. Alright guys, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I basically took all morning to catch some bait. Uh, I'll show you in a second here, but I did get really lucky and found some like basically gold using a simple setup. Little chartreuse jig, tiny little guy, piece of red worm, split shot, slip bobber set probably, I don't know. I was setting it so that the jig was bouncing along the bottom and then uh, you guys saw me catch a couple of them. I have some, uh, I think they're called black-tailed chubs. 
uh, or creek chubs. And then I also have some creek shiners. Those are like candy. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna switch this bobber out with a bigger one and I'm gonna toss one of those guys on there and throw it below the spillway. I'm gonna either get one of two things, well, one of three things, one of four things? Okay, so we got giant catfish, northern pike, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. Any one of those could be eating these things. Uh, there's obviously an abundance of them down here. I got like a dozen of them in the bucket, so hopefully the next thing you see after I put one of these on is uh, me catching some giant fish. Okay, like I said, I got a bucket full. There's one right there. Looks like I might have to change the water out here. These guys die real easy, so hopefully they survive long enough for me to catch some fish on them. Otherwise, they're turning into cut bait. Take it for a second here. What is it? What is it? <laughs> That's a giant smallmouth. Like them too. Right in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> All right, that's one, and I got him on the, the river chub with the. <laughs> So this equals this. Right, I'm gonna try and get a release on this guy. Round, round two. It worked the first time, let's do it again. Fish. I'm gonna guess another smallmouth, but it feels pretty big. Nope, northern pike. <laughs> I knew they were in here. <laughs> These guys love these creek chubs. That's a decent fish. That's one, it's probably about 26 inches long. A lot healthier than they were down here. 
I'm gonna try and get a release on this snake. Hopefully he doesn't bite me. All right, so that worked. Uh, I'm not doing underwater releases, just so you guys understand. I'm just using that so I can get a close-up release. Hopefully you guys enjoy these releases. Uh, hopefully you can hear me, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this uh, impromptu thing. I didn't plan on catching these uh, creek chubs and shiners. I know they're around usually, but normally I have a really hard time getting my hands on them unless I'm fishing like a small stream or something like that. And the water's actually up here right now, but it's really cold. So I guess you could call this fall fishing right now, but creek chubs for smallmouth and northern pike are, they're like candy. So if you guys can get your hands on some, do it. Uh, I'm gonna go try and get some more fish. This is the one time a year I will catch northern pike and enjoy it. Uh, that just reminded me, I have to retire. All right. Round three. That's a that's a creek shiner right there. This is what I thought the northern pike would go after, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Let's see if we get some more of those guys. I wouldn't mind a big one. Giant smallmouth. <laughs> so glad I gave it a second. <laughs> That's a big girl. Woo! I'm gonna weigh this thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Apparently the small mouth find those things like candy too. <laughs> I love this time of year. <laughs> hey that pig. Look at it. <laughs> Score. It's got to be a three pounder. I want to weigh this one. I don't ever weigh my smallmouth because I don't ever get big enough ones, but that's why I have the scale on hand today, though. In the fall, they get real heavy. Two thirteen. Almost three. All right, I'm gonna get a release on this girl. Hey, good luck. Let her catch her breath. There you go, baby. All right. 
I could do that again. <laughs> I love it when stuff works. I didn't realize, like that was a big shiner. That was probably a four, four and a half inch shiner. So all you smallmouth fishermen out there, fish bigger baits. <laughs> this is new to me. I'm not used to catching, you know, that's only a three pound smallmouth eating like a five inch or four inch bait. Um, I have bigger ones and now I'm really curious to know what's swimming down here because that thing was fat. So they're all feeding up. So the fall bite is on. Round five. I think he just grabbed it and moved him. Well, might not be big enough to eat it. Oh, well, he's got it. That looks like a bigger northern. Healthy guy. There's another one. This guy's a little bit thicker. Would be perfect for pickling. All right, I'm gonna start pickling pike in the middle of this month, I think. Because <laughs> I want some for winter, but I'm gonna let this guy go. Lucky for him. <laughs> Maybe I should have pickled that thing after all. <laughs> he didn't cut me though, so we're off. Uh, we're good. That was not a smooth release whatsoever, but I'll take it. So I think that's two northern pike and two smallmouth. Uh, all of them decent fish today. <sighs> I thought with how cold it is and how the water's freezing, I think the water's actually into the 60s already, which is crazy. Um, but obviously they're still feeding. And then, uh, a big thing, just this is a tip for you guys. I'm, I'm going to try and help you out here. Aside from the fact that I'm using live bait, you could be, I, if there wasn't a bunch of snags down here, if they're feeding like this, uh, it's good because it's for the fall feed season. Like they, they bulk up before winter. Um, but I could use jerk baits. Like I could use my bigger jerk baits. Uh, I'll link that video up here. It's one of my favorite fall lures. Try them out if you get a chance to. But uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get a couple more fish before I got to go. Round six. Oh, there's a fish choking it down right now. <laughs> He didn't get it. Put it right back where it was. I saw my bobber come up. Usually that means the fish is swimming up with it.
Oh, he might have it now. Or the minnow is swimming away from something. <laughs> Keep putting him back right in the lion's den. Hopefully whatever was eating him is still around. Yep. Got him. <laughs> I think it's another northern pike. <laughs> yep. A little skinnier. I'm not going to walk this guy back. Alright guys, uh, as you can see, put the hood up. It's getting cold out and uh, I got to get going home. I got three northern pike and two decent smallmouth. Actually one three, basically almost a three pound smallmouth. So. I did pretty good. Uh, it was all on creek chubs and uh, creek shiners or river shiners, whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, they should be in the thumbnail if I if I do it right. <laughs> uh, either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's live bait like toss around. Um, it got really cold, so I I only had one option. I was gonna try try to do jerk baits down here, but the water's so dirty. I just figured it was easier to catch some bait, and uh, it was. I caught some bait. Well, it took me all morning. But I caught some bait, and then I used that bait, and I caught some big fish. So hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoy these kind of videos. I really, really appreciate the support. Otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to... Mm -hmm.